Hi people, this is Jarvis and I'm back with uh, another review and this is one of the another special review we have, we're going into uh, custom guitars and this is probably one of the one of the most uh, expensive guitar that I ever come to my house I think this is, uh, in fact this is the most expensive guitar I've ever come to my house and this is as you can see in the front of this headstock it's an O what does that, does that O stands for? it's an Olsen Olsen by Jim Olsen. This is the special. Have a look at this special custom SJ Olsen guitar. Okay, Olsen is uh, was uh, everybody knows uh, Jim Olsen because uh, he's made famous by people like uh, uh, James Taylor. We all know James Taylor, Phil Keaggy, even Sting, and quite a number of uh, celebrity. Uh, uh, performers that use this guitar, but uh, James Taylor actually is the one that actually uh, give, gave uh, Jim Olsen that push in his career where he was just starting out as a guitar maker. Um, let's go through this uh, SJ uh, custom. This SJ is uh, without cutaway, it's an SJ uh, shape, you can see. Uh, the top of this uh, guitar the top is a an Andirondack spruce top, and the Andirondack is a very stiff Andirondack spruce top. As you can see, the uh, it's master grade. You can see the color is very even, uh, nice uh, even. A lot of silking on the top itself. Um, let's look at the appointments. You have the ebony uh, bridge, ebony fretboard, as well as an uh, ebony head plate on the head stock itself. The uh, rosette is a combination of Brazilian rosewood followed by Avalon uh, uh, rosette as well as another piece of uh, uh, Brazilian rosewood. The whole guitar is bound in Brazilian rosewood with the side purflings of uh, maple black and maple uh, violin strip. The top itself it is uh, the Avalon uh, purfling, top purfling. Okay, the back of the wood is a very nice piece of Brazilian. I'm just going to show it Brazilian. Very nice piece of Brazilian. You can see the coloration of this Brazilian itself. Beautiful piece. You can't get any more of this. Very difficult to acquire uh, Brazilian like this anymore. I just have to be very, very careful yourself. The, the guitar itself spots a five-piece neck. One, two, three, four, five. Very stable uh, neck itself. If you look at the inlays, you have the uh, dove inlays. It looks more like a, a, a eagle, but this dove inlays is a little bit different from the normal dove inlays that uh, G Mosen does. This has the abalone as the main feature, and the outer layer is like a, a silver inlay. Just it's like a marker going across. Uh, the outer parameters of the, the, the inlay itself as well as the Olsen you can see here the Olsen it's abalone and then the outer uh, inlay is with a silver uh, if you look at the back itself they have the Groover Super Tuners as well as the uh, back plate which is actually inlaid in, in uh, in uh, Brazilian rosewood, which is a pretty nice piece, as well as the velute that's right here, the velute right here itself, and you can see still the back also is bound. You can see the back is is bound with uh, ebony, with uh, purfling lines also. Very beautiful work. I took uh, just my finger itself and just run through the underneath the sound hole and the workmanship. You can see. It takes a lot of pride. Jim Wilson takes a lot of pride. It's really smooth. It's like a rubbing on a, 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 a young baby's skin. Smooth. So you can you can actually feel that there's attention to detail. He put a lot of effort in really really smoothening the, the, the wood itself underneath. You know, no nobody sees it. You can you can see the, the, the bracing patterns that uh, I've posted in the forum at the link below this YouTube link itself so you can just have a look at some of the pictures that I've taken with my iPhone itself uh, what about tone? generally uh, not, uh, Jim Olsen and Olsen guitars are normally famous for cedar top uh, guitars 
uh, the, the cedar top I've played about, about six pieces six seven pieces and the cedar tops are the one that has a more responsive more sweeter a more effortless uh, 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 right hand technique where you, you just leave, use very little force to get that that, that voice out that, that the, the music out from, from, from the guitar itself. Uh, nevertheless, uh, this Enderon neck top still has that signature Olsen sound. Uh, of course, you need a little bit more. Uh, it takes time for this top to open up a little bit more. Uh, this is basically, this, this uh, is only a couple of years old and is owned by a collector. He has uh, about four Olsen. So far, he has owned about six Olsen itself. And this is his price collection. And this was actually uh Jim put this Olsen in a museum and this collector actually asked Jim whether he could kindly take that one back from the museum and sell it to him so we have actually a, a museum a nice museum piece right now with in, on my hands itself and beautiful guitar uh, let's see how it sounds let's see how it sounds This is not a strumming guitar, but let me just strum it a little bit. Can still strum this guitar, even though this uh, James Olsen guitar is not uh, not made for strumming.
sustain is incredible. So the question you asked me is going to be, uh, Jarvis, do you like this guitar? Yes, I personally, I love uh, an Olsen guitar. I, I, I hope to own one soon and uh, I think it's coming. Uh, I hope to own one soon. But my generally, my personal preference is uh, for Cedar Top uh, uh, Olsen guitars. I have looked through the whole guitar. I can't find a spot. I can't find a, a mistake on even in the perfect lines, the way it's being made. The neck angle is perfect. The the, the everything about this uh, guitar shows, exhibits, uh, exemplifies what a luthier should do in terms of finishing, in terms of uh, angle, in terms of attention to detail. I just love uh, 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 this uh, awesome guitar. That's why I think that's the reason why. Uh, Olsen guitar has a, a long backlog of uh, of people wanting to get his guitar even though he's almost 60 years old, I think 60 plus years old. So if you haven't got an Olsen, if you can, back borrow still, get the money and get one. Um, this is one of the rare ones with the Brazilian rose. So let's go through again. Okay, let's, let's have a look at the, the Brazilian rose. So it's a beautiful piece. Okay, so what can I say? Uh, Thanks to the owner that sent it in. This comes with also uh, fitted with the uh, LB6 uh, LR Bex uh, pickup uh, that's originally used by James Taylor himself. I see fire, I see the rain. I see the many things that never fade away. I'm not a singer. singer. There you have it, the uh, J. Wilson uh, SJ, and this is uh, one of the nice uh, nice review I've done. Again, thanks for tuning in. My name is Jarvis. If you have any comments, just uh, leave it. Send me an email on guitarsaddle at hotmail.com. Uh, so till my next review, I say live with passion, enjoy life, and play the guitar. See you. Bye-bye.